Onto it four within the last 45 minutes, CMPD released this surveillance video of four people firing 55 shots in less than 10 seconds outside an uptown hookah lounge. Right now, investigators say they have custody of two cars involved and they're looking for two others. One person was shot and taken to the hospital where they're now recovering. Multiple gunshot that were fired uh, very close to the Babylon Hookah Lounge, which is in the 500 block of North College Street. Uh, we reviewed video surveillance, which we will share with you shortly. And uh, over a 10 second time period, multiple individuals fired upwards of 55 to 56 rounds from four different weapons over a 10 second time period. There were three cars involved. One car uh, we were able to locate a short distance away. Uh, after a short pursuit, two individuals were taken into custody and arrested on unrelated charges. The two vehicles that we are asking the public's assistance for is a dark colored Monda Mazda CX-5. It's either black or dark blue, you'll see in the video and then information about a white four-door Honda Accord. You will see the individuals exit both of these vehicles, as, as I said, fire upwards of 55 rounds over a 10-second time period. Fortunately for us, uh, nobody, one, one individual was struck by the gunfire. He suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Four additional vehicles were struck as well as a building, but You'll see with all the multitude of people that were uh, behind where the individuals were firing their rounds at, we are very fortunate that we did not have a mass shooting, uh, multiple individuals struck by this reckless gunfire that occurred, as I said, shortly after 2.20 in the morning, early yesterday morning. Uh, with that, I will take any questions that you may have. Yes, certainly anybody who has information who, one, may have been inside the hookah lounge uh, and seen a disagreement or dispute between these individuals. You'll see there were a lot of cars that were leaving that area of 8th Street, Tryon Street, College Street at this time. Uh, certainly it's a little bit difficult to uh, tell the, the description of the individuals, but we do believe uh, that identifying the owners or the drivers of those two vehicles will be extremely beneficial in our investigation. Just a quick follow-up. So do you know if the disagreement started inside the lounge or outside in the parking lot? You know, we're, we're, still trying to, we're still trying to piece that together. Hopefully by uh, sharing this information with you all today that we'll be able to uh, make some great strides in the investigation. Uh, I mean, it, it's probably dozens, dozens, and, and anywhere from four to six individuals uh, were out firing rounds. Like I said, that's a lot of gunfire in a very short amount of time, uh, and they were really reckless with the with uh, with the guns, and um, we're very fortunate. And do y'all believe that the suspects they all knew each other, or was it random? You know, we're still trying to piece that together. I I, I do not believe. Uh, we do not believe at this time that it was random. Uh, we believe that there was some previous uh, disagreement or altercation between the individuals and the groups. You can see, again, from the video, it was very uh, individuals pulled up in the parking lot, backed up, within a couple of seconds exited the vehicle. Like I said, fired 55 to 56 rounds in a 10-second time period, got back in the vehicles, and fled the area. So. You're gonna have to take off your mask, sir. I can't. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. What type of guns did the drivers Well, there's four different kinds of uh, weapons, and that'll be in the release. I, I don't. I don't know offhand. So, what, what's the message? I mean, when you have a shooting melee like that, it potentially more people could have been harmed. Obviously, they went there for a purpose. These I mean, what, what do you say to people who are reckless? You know, it's 
uh, try to appeal to people's uh, to their better judgment. Clearly, they were not utilizing a sound judgment at this time and uh, trying to rectify a disagreement or a beef in a very busy parking lot with multiple different weapons, two o'clock in the morning, certainly not the answer. There was one victim hit. Do you have an update on his condition or anything? Yeah, he's being treated at the hospital uh, for non-life-threatening injuries, so very fortunate. Uh, he's very fortunate that, uh, that he's going to survive. Are you talking to investigators? Have you guys found, any, found out anything from them? Yeah, we're still, we're still going through that process right now. Um, again, anybody with information who might have been there, might have seen this, please call Crime Stopper 704-334-1600. Uh, any information that you might have, uh, we're confident there were individuals who were out there who saw what happened, um, certainly or heard what happened uh, and can pro provide some uh, vital information to us. Quick question. Of the cars that got hit, 